Good morning, my lovelies, and welcome to our seed of encouragement and happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I got a word that was said even now. Even now is in the Bible in John 11, verse 1 to 23. Even now is in 22. So I want to talk about the nervous in our life, you know. The devil will always picture this word, never can, never will it be, never will you be well from this sickness, never will you have that child, never will you be married, never will that child turn out better, never will this business grow. And you know, he keep telling you, look at you, you're working and the promotion is not coming. Do you think, they never see your, what you put in, right? They never see what, and you keep whining it in your ear, whining behind your mind. And it comes to a point where you agree with the devil, say, yes, never. No, nobody see anything good with me. Nobody see me doing anything. Yeah, you're right, you know. The, the devil will always put those words in front of you. He said, okay, God is saying, go through a detour. You're going through the details. The, the devil is saying, you see, you can never get to your destination. You see, see, never see, see all the roads, see all the things you're going to go through. But you, you, then you begin to believe the lies of the devil that you can never get to your destination. Right? You fell down four times, three times, and then the devil is saying, you can never rise again. Then you forget that the word of God said, the righteous fall down seven times and he rise again seven times. You forget that God is the one that enlarges the land underneath your feet so your feet doesn't slide when you're walking. You, f you forget that God already knows what he has for you. That he has an appointed time for everything about your life. That you are going through this detour, yes. That you are, you are in your place of lullaby. And then you are like, you can't become anything. We saw the story last week. That when Mebushabed thought his life was over, there was an angel going around, sharing gifts, looking for who to favor. And they went and found him where he was. When they set time for God to bless you, nothing can stop it. You will be located. God will find you and God will bless you. Because he said there's a set time appointed on everybody. God will favor you at that time. Don't give up. Don't get so mad that you begin to question, can he ever walk? Don't get to a point where you begin to reason with the devil, debating with the devil, having a debate with the devil. This one has happened before. That one has happened before. See how this one turned out. It didn't work out, so why am I even hopeful? Because that's what the devil wants. The devil wants to draw your mind. I'm putting a place where you lose all hope. But I came to tell you that there's a word that said, even now. So I don't know the situation you are in. Like the situation of Lazarus of that story. Lazarus is a friend of Jesus. And he was sick. His, his sisters, Mary and Martha, sent a message to, to Jesus to come. Jesus didn't come. Jesus was engaged in other activity. So when Jesus finally came, Martha went and met him at the gate and said, Lord, if you have come by, he won't be dead. Now nah, he's dead. And we've buried him. And Jesus was telling him, but you know, I'm the, I'm the resurrection. I, I bring things out. I call for people that are dead to live. He said, I know. I know that when we all get over there, you will resurrect it. Jesus said, even now. And Martha said, I believe. Immediately, Martha said, I believe. Because that's all the word of God wants from us is to believe. Do you still believe the promises of God upon your life? Did you still believe that God said you will become what God has called you to be? Do you believe that God said you are the head and not the tail? Do you believe you are the righteousness of God? Do you believe that he has inscribed in the palms of your, his hand and nothing can smash you from it? Do you believe that he said you are the head and not the tail? Do you believe he said you are above only and never beneath? Did you believe that he said he, he will never leave you nor forsake you? The word of Joshua said, he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, be courageous. Be strong. Because the enemy is going around looking for who to defer. You have to be strong. The Bible said that the kingdom of God suffered violent right from the time of creation. But the violent take it by force. Are you allowing the devil to water down your faith? Water down your belief with putting up never, never, never in your in your brain, in your subconsciousness. And you begin to see yourself less, less than what God has called you to be. 
You lose all your believers' authority because you allow the devil to rob your mind. Because it says, as a man thinketh, so is he. Martha said, I believe. He left it there, I believe. And Jesus said, where is, where did you guys put Lazarus? They said, he said, take away the stone. What is that that is standing between you and God? It is your doubtfulness. Is it your unbelief? Is it not having faith? Because God works with faith. He says it's impossible for God to work with you if you don't have faith. You must have faith. Faith is that you're going through your details. Faith is that I'm in this blood of you. But I'm hopeful that he, he that called me is going to fulfill all that he called concerning me. He that started this thing is going to bring it to perfection. That is faith. Faith is that I'm going through what I'm going through. I'm in this circumstance. I'm in this situation. But I'm going to come out of it better, refined, stronger. You know, we, we believers think that it's only when things are going well that you are being blessed. But I came here to, to bust your bubble. I came here to be the bearer of that bad news to you. That sometimes when you are being blessed is when you are in pain. It's when you are going through your struggles. Because that trouble is developing you, developing your strength. It is developing, developing your level of tolerance. It's developing patience in you. It's, it's developing human compassion in you. There are some things that you, what you're going through is killing in your body, killing with flesh. Because, you know, flesh wants everything now, 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 now. The, the trouble that God has brought before you that you're going through and you're thinking... Why am I in this situation? This, the, the word of God said there is no temptation that is appointed to any man that the man cannot go through. God is not going to give you any temptation you cannot overcome. So whatever you are going through, know it in you that this year you will, you will come through it with the help of God. That God has promised, he promised, we never leave you, we never forsake you. That is an authoritative word. God said, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. I'm always with you till the end. That should encourage you. That should make you, comfort you. That should make you continue to persist. That will make you continue to, 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 to go what you are going through in faith. Faith without work is dead, right? You know, you can't sit down and say, God gave me a job and you're not going out looking for a job. You're not going out spreading your CV. You're not going out talking to people that you can do job. And sometimes God is trying to start you a job in a little beginning and you are you're like, oh, I have this degree. I have this one. I have to start here. Oh, I, I, I did this thing in school, so I have to be doing this kind of business. Whereas God is saying, despise not little beginnings. Is it pride? That is the thing standing between you and God? Is it unforgiveness? Is the thing standing between you and God? Is it comparing yourself with people? Comparison is what's standing between you and God. Is it jealousy? Is it gossip? They are all the characters that are standing between you and God. God is telling you to roll away the stone. Roll it away. Roll it away. So your glory will be seen. When they roll the stone, Jesus said, Lazarus, come out. And he said, lose him. They lose off all the sackcloth they rolled in the wind. So what have you robbed yourself? What have you, what are you allowing to rob you of your faith? Hmm? You are looking at people comparing yourself with this one. This one started before, uh, this one started now and this is where they are and you think that's how your story is look at all the wonderful people in the bible look at them look at esther we like to talk about esther esther was a slave in a foreign land doing, doing all that before even she even find favor with the king god has to break a protocol for the king to now need a queen Look at Ruth. Ruth was going around picking up weeds from the farm. You know, we, we think it's only when, when your prayer requests are answered, you are blessed, uh, and then you think that is when you, God loves you. No. 
Sometimes too is in your denials. Sometimes it's when somebody left you. Sometimes when your heart is broken. Sometimes when you're lonely all by yourself at this time, you're asking yourself, God, I'm still all by myself this time of the year. When you're thinking by now you should have a ring on it. That is when you are developing yourself. You are developing your self-worth. You are beginning to find out what you have in you. Your skills you have. You are educating yourself, going to work, taking care of yourself, being happy all by yourself. So that when God brings in your bosom, you, you can now know how to do things, play, work. Because then you are not depending all your happiness on another total human being. Hmm? God is still going to give you that which is yours. He said, even now, even now, even now, God is going around raising the dead, healing the sick, wiping away your tears, mending your heart, putting you oil of gladness in the place of sadness. They were weeping and crying, Lazarus is dead, he's dead, he's dead, Lord is dead. Mary is crying at Jesus' feet, oh my brother is dead, if only you have come, this, 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 this. And Jesus said, even now, he is still the resurrection of life. And he told Lazarus to rise. Lazarus rise. And Lazarus start living again. What is the deadness in your life that you think God cannot bring back to life? What is that thing that you think God cannot fix? What is that addiction that you think you can't get on hook from it? Have you called God in it? Is it those children? Are you beckoning and praying to God of, of the children? Or are you just worrying yourself and screaming and yelling all over the time instead of doing the needful? Seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then he will give you wisdom on how to navigate and live. So I want to tell us today that we have the God of even now. Even now, he is still doing it. He will give you your buzak. He will give you that child. He will give you that wonderful job. He will help you finish school. He will make you what he has called you to do. He, Our God never changes. He is still doing miracles. He is still killing giants. He is still destroying the pharaohs that think you cannot go to your promised land. He is still doing all those battles, clearing the way for you. So be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged today that you have the God of even now. He's still blessing you. He's still breathing. He's still healthy. He is doing it for you. Please, don't give up. Keep on keeping on. That your God of even now is still your God on the throne. He can never change. He will never change. He swore, I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. So be encouraged as you go around. Be encouraged. Share love. Be encouraged. Be kind to one another. And don't forget that if there's anything that I think is standing between you and the relationship with God, go and get it clear so that you can see clearly and you receive your blessing. I love you. Have a wonderful week.